Ladies and gents, happy Spider-Man Day to everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be actually brief this time because I'm just going to be covering um, as the title suggests. Well, whilst I'm recording this, I haven't made the title, but just continuing to follow on on the arms race that's going on in the games industry right now uh, with regards to Disney being reportedly looking into acquiring a major publisher, EA. Uh, even though it's thought to be that the CEO, Bob Iger, said that he's non-committal about the potential deal. So I just wanted to discuss a little bit about that, give my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, of course. Um, so again, let's get into it. Disney is reportedly looking to acquire Electronic Arts or a company of similar scale um, as a way to get into games publishing. Because currently right now, as we know, Disney mainly just licenses their IP out to be used in other games, uh, such as upcoming games like Avatar, Frontiers of the Pandora, uh, Spider-Man 2 is licensed out for Insomniac, Star Wars Outlaws is also uh, licensed out, and I think Star Wars Jedi Survivor is another one that's also uh, licensed out under that umbrella. Uh, but what this would mean for the games industry would be very interesting because for me, it's going to a very, I wouldn't say a scary place, but a very dangerous place because a, a lot of uh, publishers are trying to push this whole subscription-based gaming thing and that's something i would see disney doing if they were to sort of purchase ea and get into the whole arms race i feel like they would create a game pass competitor which again on the face of it is good uh, because competition is good but i don't want publishers to continue to move in that direction personally because like i've always said i support physical media actually owning the cds owning your games uh, because being reliant on a game being on a server because with subscription-based gaming right you're just basically loaning the game out you don't own it if the servers go down you can't play it offline like you're constantly at the mercy of the servers and the studio and the publishers and, and that's something that's not very consumer friendly in my eyes so again it would be very interesting because it would create a good competitor uh, to game pass but this whole thing of Microsoft saying that, oh, they want to become the Netflix of gaming is, again, something that I worry about because I don't want gaming to turn into what's happened now uh, with regards to streaming services where everything is either on Netflix or it's on Hulu or it's on um, HBO Max or whatever, like, or it's on Disney Plus, like, and now you're forced to subscribe to those services to try and get access to the games. You can't just, like, fucking go out and you know unless you're going to the cinema to go watch a movie or something like that with regards to like tv shows mainly those are the ones where they get licensed out and everything so ah, it is something that worries me because again it's a convenient service but it, it's a service that wastes a lot of money because like year in year out who really uses netflix to the point where you actually get your money's worth very few individuals um so again i don't want everything to become subscription based where everything just goes onto the clouds and the servers and we just get forced into this whole cloud gaming model because again i was born and raised in zimbabwe sometimes i did not have internet and that kind of shit so like for some days if i just wanted to play some offline games during the ps2 era imagine not being able to do that because your games are like on the fucking cloud that kind of thing dude like i just fear for it again that's why i said whenever i mention this it's never coming from like a console war perspective but it's coming from just a regular consumer friendly perspective because not everyone's always going to be online and again going back to like the single player games a lot of games are single player you just want to play offline you don't need to be like constantly connected to the internet you want to have the entire game fully downloaded have all your services available and just be able to plug and play a game in the cd right whereas for multiplayer games it's understandable that they have to be online because you're playing with other multiplayer people so those make sense but then to start gatekeeping the games that don't have to be online into online services that is a very slippery slope in my opinion so again i just wanted to discuss that it'll be interesting if disney actually purchases ea another studio that's been uh rumored to be being bought or well, studio publisher that is is ubisoft because ubisoft has been trying to sell themselves for years right now but for some reason there hasn't been a buyer of ubisoft so it would be interesting to see if disney was to purchase ea a lot of people are saying maybe sony would go for take two rockstar kind of thing and try get maybe everything that's under the umbrella of take two but again 
even though I love Sony, I love PlayStation, that's something I wouldn't want to see them do, because again, they'd just be doing the exact same thing that uh, Microsoft and everyone else is doing, like, ugh. Some things don't need to be involved in the arm race, like, but I just, again, I just hope that there still remains that balance in gaming where not everything is forced onto the cloud gaming and forced onto subscription gaming, because again, physical media is dying and physical media needs to be protected needs to be um guarded but it is what it is you already know my thoughts on that uh let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so again disney executives have basically discussed this but they haven't committed to it so it's kind of like one of those rumors where it's on the table but nothing's been fully um uh, fleshed out or discussed yet because again there was also uh, EA was in talks with NBC Universal they were in talks with Amazon they were in talks with Apple uh, but I think only Disney and Apple are probably Disney Apple Amazon are probably the ones that are still you know feeling the waters out I think NBC probably pulled out because I don't see themselves putting themselves into this whole let's try and get into gaming let's try and get into this angle but uh, we'll just have to wait and see um yeah as always stay safe stay healthy stay dangerous hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below your thoughts uh, do you think the whole arms race is good for the games industry do you are you actually someone who supports the subscription-based gaming let me know in the comments because like i've always said there's actually a lot of pros to subscription-based gaming but there's also a lot of cons and unfortunately i kind of lean to the side of the cons because i just always want to protect physical media so it is what it is. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay dangerous, stay blessed. Enjoy Spider-Man. And peace out. Dad, it's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. Uh, the Gunsway. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh huh. -huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. Right. I'll tell you what. You let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, we can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on.